Welcome back. Thursday is the time we set aside a little bit of time to chat with members of the medical community. Joining us today, uh, Lauren Marshall with uh, Gwen Mead, the OBGYN office here in town, part of the New Hanover Regional Medical Group, talking about mammograms, more specifically for mammograms for folks maybe 70 or older. And why is that important to us right away? You know, it's important because mammograms detect breast cancer, and we know that breast cancer is a disease of aging. Now, one reason why a woman would decide to stop doing annual mammography would be if they're not in good health. For example, but if they're able-bodied and they're in good health, they should continue to get their annual mammograms. I know this, it's something that, that, you know, through the media and having a wife and, and having a mother that you always hear, you know, once you reach a certain age, it's something you want to do annually. Do, mm -hmm. do women typically kind of get away from this once they reach a certain age? You know, I think sometimes the guidelines are confusing as well, but they're meant to be just that. They're meant to be guidelines. And so the most important thing is for each woman to discuss with her health care provider her individual constellation of risk factors. You know, that can be age, that can be especially family history plays a huge role in terms of how often they should get their screenings. When you're talking about a population 70 and older, what are, are does incidence of problems go up typically as, as they reach it, that it age typically group? does it typically does but with annual screenings also comes you know false positives and needing to get additional biopsies and additional workups done so that getting those annual screenings will be based on that individual woman's risk factors essentially what are some of the risks that you see uh, out of that age group essentially aging whether they've had um, hormonal therapy throughout the years if they're postmenopausal if they've ever had children if they've ever breastfed and for women that are that are reaching that age that think that maybe this is something that I should, you know, kind of seek treatment for, are there telltale signs or is this just something that you really want to hammer home the point that you do mm -hmm. need to cons keep doing this on an annual basis? Essentially, self-breast exams are always, always great. And women should be looking for changes in the breast, such as any changes in the nipple, nipple discharge, any changes in the skin color, or any pain in the breast. Okay, Lauren, I, I always kind of tag this out with, if you have questions pertaining to yourself or something you care about, you don't want to contact me. You always want to go to a physician. They can answer your questions much more specifically Definitely. than I can. Lauren, I appreciate the Hey, time thank you so much. Thank you. Dana, how about the weather?